Hey guys, welcome back to Minute Watch. And this is a follow up video for my Citizen Promaster NY00400-09WB. <laughs> so, what you're seeing here is a picture of how it used to be. And I mentioned in the previous video that I'm going to change it up. So, here we go. Here's what's, what's done. Um, I put a different rubber strap on it, and that's going to come off in just a little bit. This is from a, another Promaster. But what I've done is I've actually polished the bezel. Can you can you tell? I meticulously polished the bezel and gave a slightly a slight rub to the uh, to the lugs. So it is now a lot more shiny. Uh, you might not be able to tell so much, but look at the picture before and after. So it, it's definitely subtle yet gloriously beautiful I, I this is one of my favorite watches now I love love wearing this thing it's perfect um, and I'll do the whole beauty shot thing in the background but uh, what I what I have done to polish this and and some people have been asking so I'll show you um, I use I use a pretty standard uh, Dremel where'd it go where did it go Pretty standard Dremel, cordless Dremel, 10.8 uh, volt lithium meh, Dremel. And I use a bunch of polishing wheels. Uh, I bought a bag of them from Amazon. Just a whole bag of polishing wheels. And I use the uh, bigger ones. You can you can search for these. There's, there's so many of them. and they're, they're cheap. But I use the bigger one. Um, it just It's just a little bit more accurate for me. And for the polishing stuff, I just use regular old Mother's Mag Aluminum Polish. I mean, it's perfect for all metals. Shines and protects. It, you can use whatever metal polish you want, but that's the one I use. And I just, I just kind of just go to town, you know. I just, I just, uh, I just do it. <laughs> I use even strokes, and I, I go gently, and then a high speed, and you just, you just kind of get used to the feel of it, and. Uh, be careful about the bezel and the insert. You know, you gotta test it, make sure it'll handle the polishing. But thus far, everything that I've done, every watch that I've polished has been able to handle that just fine. So we're gonna change the strap to my favorite leather strap, the Hadley Roma MS824. And I really like this. I put this on my friend's one and have it on another watch. And I like this because it's cheap and uh, it's got a perfect shine to it. It's not too glossy, but it's not matte. So let's just uh, break this in half. Oh crap, I literally did break it. But, uh, and uh, <laughs> and uh, let's take off this uh, thing. Oh, before that, uh, I have a new flashlight. This is, uh, this is an X-Tar rechargeable 800 lumen flashlight and it doesn't use regular batteries like my other flashlight. This actually uses a killer 18650. Uh, big old battery. Come on, get the. F there you go. It's a huge battery. High high uh, discharge, 20 amp, massive battery. This 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 flashlight is a beast. So I'm not gonna be using my little Nebo Red Line anymore. Uh, this is this is awesome. Here, let's just uh, let's just give a quick little demonstration. I'm not going to change the camera settings at all. I'm just going to... There you go. Whew. Blinded me with science. So, that's it. I'm just going to... Oop, 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 oop. Which is the setting? Okay, and off. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's super bright. You can't tell because I didn't change the camera setting. It's The camera still at a super... Uh, super low ISO so but yeah good flashlight it's, I got it for like about 50 bucks uh, check it out and also it also comes with this kill, a killer case so xstarlight.com not affiliated with them just bought it so let's get to changing the the uh, strappy McStrappers trusty toolkit 
gonna undo this. I think I might not be able to reuse these lugs, but we shall see. Anyway, will they fit? Will it blend? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Get this sucker in here nice and good like that. That was easy. Yeah. Get this sucker in here. Oop. Get it in the hole. All right. And, uh... Oh, wow, that was ridiculously easy. <laughs> Okay, and I'm gonna give a. I'm just gonna give a little. Oh, ow! Damn it! I'm just gonna give a little wipey. I just, I just hurted myself. And make sure the bezel's aligned. Give it a little bit of wipe. Oh man, look at this thing. Oh boy. All righty then. Would you just look at that? Oh my gosh, that looks. That looks so sweet. Oh man, that looks sick. Yeah, this is a nice strap. It's perfect size. It doesn't taper off too much, you know. It just it just has a very mild taper. So let's stick it up. Stick it on my wrist here. Let's put it on the wrist. I'm gonna put it on real tight so it gets the nice oval shape. I'm gonna cut off the, cut off the blood circulation off my cut off the blood circulation off my face. Okay, so it's not quite set yet, but. Yeah, I love that. I love the look of that. It's still kind of straightish. It's gotta. It's gonna take time to. Excuse me, bendy, bendy. But gosh, so that's that. Yeah, that's what I've done to this watch, and uh, I hope you like it. Don't be afraid to polish your cheaper, more affordable watches to your liking. If you if that's what it if that's what you want to do, just just go for it, man. You'll have something that other people won't. Alright, that's my review. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.